1993-1998 Toyota Supra. Overview. The Toyota Supra was designed to be a sporting machine that could compete with many of the major powerhouses of the day, but it wasn't until the fourth generation Supra boat in 1993 that the car gained its status as one of the all time greats. It featured an all new exterior design that was more aerodynamic and much sportier looking than its predecessor. Gone were the sharp edges and pop up headlamps to be replaced with long smooth curves. Along with the new look, the car also went on a diet losing 200 pounds or more, depending on the trim level. As is the case with almost all major changes, fans of the car were worried Toyota was softening the intentions of the car. That was until they turned the key on the new drivetrains. While everyone thought Toyota was creating a friendlier, slower Supra, what it actually created was a Supra creating monster that would grow into a cult icon. The exterior of the fourth generation Supra was a major departure from the Supras of the past. The car still had the hallmark long hood and short overhangs that signified its sporting pretensions, but the aggressively angled body had given way to a more 90s friendly rounded style. The signature pop-up headlamps had been dumped, and a rear wing that could be seen form space become an option. That rear wing would soon come to be one of the most defining characteristics of the car. While the exterior received its massive overhaul, it seems like the interior designers took a vacation. The interior had exactly zero changes from the last year of the third generation car to the first year of the fourth general. There were some modified standard equipment choices, but the overall layout design and shape of every part and piece was identical. It may be that Toyota felt the car was perfect the way it was, and to be fair it still receives precious few complaints, but it is striking to think about the work that transpired on the outside to have Toyota change nothing in the cabin. The cabin was well designed and filled to brim with standard equipment, and that made the Supra an expensive car when compared to its peers. In 1996, three years after the car debuted, Toyota created a new SE trim package that cut down some of the amenities to cut the price of the car down. Incidentally, this also helped cut some more weight from the car as well.